Hi, I'm Steve Wood from ManyWho, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use ManyWho with Box to deliver enterprise content workflows. So we've built a couple of workflow applications. There's one that's an end user application that allows um, sales professionals to uh, input opportunities and contracts into Box uh, from a mobile device. And then the other workflow shows how we can carry that a contract through um, a quick life cycle and an approval. But let me start by showing you um, first the flow, uh, as in how the application was built, and then I'm going to show you the actual application. So the first one I'm going to show you is the micro app we built that's for the file management. So this is something that a sales professional would use. And here you can see the flow diagram that represents the steps. There's a kind of a quick check-in, and there's an opportunity information that's captured. They can manage their files and then submit them through. They can kind of keep going around this loop as many times as they like. So here's the application as it might appear on a mobile device. This is an HTML5 version of the application. Um, and what you're looking at here is maybe something that would be on an iPad. Um, so on the right, yeah, this is the app. On the left, I've just left the flow diagram open so you can see it. So right now, we're just um, logging in. And of course, we're logging in with Box. So we're going to, using this for the first time, we're just going to authorize access. We'll just grant access to this app so it can access our account and our files. Uh, and then we'll move directly into the actual app that the sales professional will use. So you can see the first screen we're looking at is the check-in. And if you look over at the flow diagram, you'll see that that's represented by this step here. Um, but ManyWho isn't just for sequential workflow. We also have, it's, a, you know, it's an app, so you can move around the app very flexibly. You don't need to uh, go in a particular order. But I'm going to go through this step-by-step uh, -step so we can guide the sales professional through to get the contract and easily upload it into Box. So let's start step one. So we're just going to check in. The next thing we're asked for is the opportunity information. So I'll just put in some quick details. I'm going to say it's a nice big contract, a million dollars. So I'm just going to, as a summary, say that it's big. Um, clearly you might want to put a bit more information than that. So when I hit save, I'm going to progress to the manage files section. And here all I'm going to do is just ask the person to upload the contract information. So I'll just grab that from my desktop. i got the contract. And we'll just put that directly into the system. So you can see here, you know, it's immediately uh, apparent that it's integrated with Box. The file goes directly up into Box, but it's all kind of nice and seamless to the user. So they'll now click to submit that one through. And you can see, great, done, thank you. Contract in, we got the details, we're happy. So I'm going to hit done, and we're taken back to the main screen. So you can see we've just done a little loop around here. Again, like I said, we can move around the app very flexibly. It's not, uh, you know, just one thing. So with that in mind, let's have a look at what's happened. So back in our box account, you can see that the contract has arrived. But actually quite a bit more than just simply the file being stored has happened. We actually have a second workflow also driven by ManyWho, which is going to allow us to do a few things with the contract to make sure that it's being handled properly. But let me just jump back to the draw tool so you can see how that's built. So I'm going to first open up the flow here. And this is the flow now that's running behind the scenes with Box. So it's kind of the file has been uploaded and that's automatically triggered this workflow to begin working. So one of the first things it did was it got the details of the file and it created a task for that file. And basically that task is asking the person to uh, check that the details have been correctly entered. And then it's going to go through a series of steps, which I'll cover as we go through it. So let's flip back to Box again just to see what's happening. So Box you can see as before, the contract is here. But what you can also see when I open up the contract is that there's a task assigned to me to just check that all the information has been correctly entered. And one of the great features that uh, Box has now is the ability to add metadata to files. And that allows us to actually add structured information. In this case, what we did was we added the opportunity details. So we said, okay, it's a million dollar opportunity and it's big for Woodford. So we can check that to make sure that those details are correct. And once we're happy, we'll tick the box that, sorry, that this task is completed. So one of the nice things about ManyWho is we don't kind of create a separate system for doing the routine jobs that you do within Box. So for example, as you've seen, the task is a, a, a standard Box task. It's not a task outside of the system. But in addition, you get the same notification. So we, know, so we knew via the email notifier that we had a task to complete and we were notified again when the task was completed. So we're not getting in the way of Box doing the great things that it does today. 
And the sound you heard there was the text message coming in notifying the manager that there's a contract waiting approval. So let's just go back to the flow for a second just to see what's actually happening. So in the workflow, after the task was completed, uh, it then um, loaded the opportunity metadata from the file to indicate what the opportunity amount was at the end of reading the contract. If the contract was big, it would then go down this path. If it was smaller, as in uh, under a million dollars, it would just simply move the contract to approve. But given that it's a larger deal, it sent us a text message that's to say that it needs to now lock the file, um, send it to the viewer to kind of so we can actually have a look at the file, and then send a text message to the manager that you just heard come in. And then finally, we'll take it to take the uh, workflow to a screen that the user can use to approve the contract. So I'll show you that now. As I can't show you my phone on my computer, I've got an emulator here of the iPhone. And you can see we've got the contract now available for us to approve. So you can see I can review the document directly on the phone using the box viewer, just to check that everything is in order. And I can decide if I approve or reject. And we're done. But now looking at the workflow, you can see there's a final step, which is to move the contract out of their main folder into the approved contract. So let's go back to Box and just check out to see what's happened. So you can see the contract has moved from the main folder over to our approved folder to indicate the, the contract has been completed and approved. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the kinds of workflows you can build using ManyHu and Box. You can see that we can build workflows that allow users to capture information and upload files, including adding metadata to those files from a really quick and easy mobile experience through to workflows that drive Box behind the scenes, creating tasks in Box using the Box task, sending email notifications using the standard Box notifications, allowing people to review the files in Box and all the while, many who is listening to all these events and responding appropriately. If the contract's over a certain amount, it's then sending out a text message, actually the text message sent in this case using Corvisa's text messaging technology, and then allowing the user to approve. So you get a sense of how we can really work behind the scenes, but work really seamlessly with Box to give you that really integrated workflow experience with your content and files. Thank you.